Okay, wonderful. So, for our next keynote presentation, we absolutely have a rock star speaker from one of the most significant and innovative and forward thinking companies in technology. It's a real honor to introduce the CEO of Sage Iberia. Please welcome to the stage Louis Pardo. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome. Buenos dias. Hello, everyone. Hey, come on, there is too much people in here. This is a great room. Hello, everyone. Good. Now, today I want to talk to you about innovation, but really it's not about the business innovation. I would love to do that. You know, I work at Sage. I've been doing that for the last 20 years. Why? Because I love business and I love people. We do technology, and I want to talk about technology, but not the technology out there inside of you. That's what I'm going to talk about reinvention. Now, have you noticed there is a lot of reinvention around the world? Yeah, I'm sure, you know, if, if you think in, I don't know, maybe a celebrity, think about someone that reinvents itself almost every decade, almost every year, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, imagine a professional, bodybuilder professional, then it goes a successful actor. Then it goes to a successful entrepreneur. And then the governor of California. That's reinvention, right? But look at the out world. Look at the thousands of people that we have in here. Look at yourself. Now we're going from paper to software files. We're going from cars to self-drive cars. We're going from our human intelligence to artificial intelligence. We're going through intermediate business to blockchain. And then I can go on and on and on. I'm sure I will ask you, and you will find dozens, maybe hundreds of examples where you see how the world is reinventing around us. Then, just go back a little bit. I'm thinking Charles Darwin in the 19th century. This great scientist in the world, five years traveling around the world to find the conclusion. The conclusion is published in the 1859 in The Origin of Species. So you know that very well. It's not the strongest species that survives. It's not the most intelligent that survives. It's really the one that adapts to change. And we're in a changing world. My question to you is, have you really reinvent yourself? Because everything around is reinventing. You got that, right? Now, let me give you more examples of what's going on today. Meanwhile, while we are talking now, there is 7,000 of mobile device connected today. That it means there is more people accessing mobile devices than accessing water. Today, we can say that 90% of all data has been built and loaded in the last two years in our mankind history. Today, we got beneath our feet cables, our cloud, 24 petabytes of information. Oh, what's a petabyte? Forget about the freakies of software. You need to add 15 zeros to a byte. 15 zeros. No, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine that. That's the number that goes in the traffic just beneath our feet today. So we don't talk about the future. For me, the biggest change, and that it goes to your reinvention, it's the time of that change. We go back to Charles Darwin. He showed us the evolution, seven million years, to Homo sapiens sapiens. Everybody can believe what they want. The point here is that there is proofs that there is an evolution of man. There are facts. The point here is seven million of years, and now in just 10 years, the world has completely changed. Now just. Get a, you know, a very easy example, the wheel. 
The wheel was invented 5,000 years ago, and we're still using the wheel for the cars, for the bikes, for the motorcycles, for business. 5,000 years. But in only 10 years, we got the explosion of cloud computing. We got the explosion of Internet of Things. We got another explosion only in 10 years. Now, this is the biggest change we need to think in our invention. I want to talk about life cycle. Think about life cycle in business and in your life. Usually, you have two axes. One is about attributes, and the other one is about time. Let's talk about the attributes. There are things that have you know, gone through a big change in business. First of all, is the business model. It's not the same. It's not the same business model, the one we have today, the one we had just 10 years ago. The other thing is about talent, and talent means people. You know, when we go around the world, I've been in 23 countries looking for business, right? And when you ask SMEs, what is your biggest risk, your biggest challenge? They don't talk about the market. They talk about the talent. Why? Because around two-thirds of the company don't have the talent with the right skills for this digital era. And this is a fact. And the third thing are products and services. They are completely different of what we had. Now, you see in business, three big changes, but not only business. Look at society. We are living now in the era of dilemmas. New behaviors, new habits of society, new ways to approach sustainability in the world. And look at those dilemmas, right? Now, what's the concept of privacy for a business or for a human being, for a citizen? Well, just a few years ago, we had an exchange with a peer, with a friend, with a customer, with a supplier. So I'm going to tell you in secret that idea. That's only for you. Today, we tweet it. And we show it to millions of people. So where is the privacy? Where is the privacy when you, in the company, can tell or not an employee that can use social media? What about the, all the data that we have on the business? But not only the business. Here, in the smartphone. Now, today, look how many information we got. Where is the privacy? Because at some point, I would say, well, what kind of, I mean, political idea you have? I, if I get your phone, I will know that. Don't, you know, data don't lie. It's, it's we humans that we lie. Now, a lot of paradigmas on those attributes, on business and also in society. And then you have the other axis, it's time. I'm going to give you one example. Again, I, I don't like to talk about opinions. I like to talk about facts. An S&P 500 company, 20 years ago, the time lapse for that company was around 50, maybe 60 years. Today is 15 years. 15 years compared to 50 or 60 just 20 years ago. This is a fact. So the time lapse has gone like that. This is, you know, kind of, I just want to get you the picture. It was like that, now it's like that. Look at your smartphone. You remember when you start having your first mobile? You were thinking when to buy the next one, maybe in the next five years. Now in the next, what, six months? So the upgrading that goes around, it has shortened all the lifetime value of anything, products, service, and lifespan of a company. We need to think that for our reinvention. Why I'm saying that? Because we are not really prepared for that. We are human beings. Now again, I go back with my question. Have you really thought about your reinvention? Well, if that's not enough, I'm going to give you 
more ammunition for you. I recommend you very much to look for a document called The Future of Employment. That document was published in 2013. Oxford, Mr. Frey and Mr. Osborne. It's a really deep document where they've gone through more than 700 job descriptions and professional careers around the world. The outcome of that survey is that 47 of all in, you know, job descriptions, let's call it like that, in the world, are going to be highly impacted by automation. And 77% of all job descriptions in the world are going to be somehow impacted by automation. Oh, no, but I'm going to be the lucky one. Don't think so. Everything that is repetitive, administration, things like that, are going to be eaten by machine learning, by artificial intelligence. The only question is when. And the only question is how we will adapt to that environment ourselves. Now, don't look at that like the apocalypse. People love that. You know, the kind of this uh, Terminator view where we will have all the software doing everything for us and, you know, so what's going to... That's not true. One thing for you to know, artificial intelligence is very specific. It does one thing. It can't play backgammon with you or maybe the, uh, the game of Go in China, right? But it cannot be creative like you are. Now, going back to my question, so have you thought about your reinvention? This is the time to reinvent. There are cycles in lives, there are cycles in business where that curve is going down and another curve it goes up, and that's now and here. Now, I want to give you some tips about reinvention. Reinvention is not something that happens on the outside world. Yeah, we see those facts happening there, but it's about you. Reinvention always, always is inside out. Always. Now, I can wear, you know, a T-shirt with, the, you know, a Budweiser logo here, you know, but I'm not a great developer just because I do that. I'm just changing my clothes. That's outside. Inside means what I change in life, really, to reinvent myself. Now, the kind of say what we used to have or what we used to think on what is a kind of a life value don't work today. Well, I, you know, I went to university and then, you know, I, I'm building now a new company and I'm going to be a, you know, a great guy. Well, Let's check that. Are you going to upgrade yourself and maybe do a free course in Google? There's two million of those courses in Google. And maybe upgrade your knowledge. And maybe do something new. And maybe find another type of customers. And maybe go to a new market. Are you thinking about that? Because the thing that you used to think about, you know, what is success, it's not anymore. It doesn't work in this digital era. So first, it's inside out. Second, it's about leadership. And most of the people talk about leadership. Leadership, you know, it's leading others. Oh, that's bullshit. It's leading yourself. It's leading you. So how much accountable are you going to be to reinvent yourself, to make that a step? Which, by the way, is not something which we are, you know, in the comfort zone. Let's call it like that. We are lazy and we have fears. That's natural, that's human, it's okay. But reinvent yourself. Because, you know, Michael Jackson already invented that song time ago. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the, on the boss. Blame it on you. If you don't reinvent yourself, you have heard it here today. You've heard that. Don't expect the government to do that for you. Don't expect the, the companies to do that for you. Don't expect your family to do that for you. So reinvent yourself. Now, just to end on that, because they're telling me it's enough. What I want to tell you is, this is time for reinvention. 
to grab the digital age. There is a lot of things you can do, you can learn, right? You have access, uh, uh, democratic access to a lot of information and knowledge. Don't do that alone. That's my, my final tip. Don't do that. We are entrepreneurs, companies, people that move the world of the company. We are not superheroes. We are humans. Do that with your friends, with your family, with an advisor, with something, someone really you can have a confidence on. And I'm sure you will succeed. So very good luck on this 21st century. Thank you very much.